pull. So it's pretty balanced. Right? Balanced forces, no motion. Okay, relax. Let's see. You too. Other side. <laughs> Who can predict what's going to happen? Now, what, what should happen? What do you think? That's what should happen, shouldn't it? All right. You can do it now. Go. <laughs> They're moving that way. All right. Thank you. And stop. We're going to watch the ball. Okay. Now, what happened when he first started to pull the ball, pull the wagon? Yes. The ball, to the, back. the ball rolled to the back. Why did it do that? What do you think? It was still at rest the Okay. And what ball you made it do that? Inertia. Inertia. The ball has a certain amount of inertia. It doesn't really want to move <laughs> unless it's acted on by an outside force. What I want you to do, if you can, here, you take the scale. Okay, look at the scale here. Come around this way. Now, what you're going to do, I want you to start pulling, and I want you to try to maintain about three newtons of force. If, if it goes below three, you've got to pull a little harder, right? Okay, do you think you can do this? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It's not three. Keep going. Keep, keep, keep it at three. Keep it at three. What do you got to do? Okay. You know what? Let's try that again, only this time we'll try to keep it at five. Okay? Okay. What do you guys think he's going to have to do to keep that at five newtons? Go ahead. Keep accelerating. Keep accelerating. Keep going faster. See how it's walking faster and faster? If I drop the two balls, they should hit the floor at just about the same time. Even though the mass of this ball is obviously much heavier than the mass of this one. But the acceleration is the same. So, which one of these balls is the Earth attracting more strongly? The bigger one. Bigger one in what sense? <laughs> the heavier one. Heavier one, yes. The one. You're just going to hold the rope. You're not going to do anything with it. You're going to pull him towards you. Go ahead and pull. Okay, quick. Now, he's the other one that was pulling. But they both moved. Why? When you pulled on this end of the rope, the same force was applied at his end. Equal and opposite. So you pulled, but that caused also a pulling on his side. Okay. Where's the greater mass here? Over here. Okay. So if he has greater mass and the forces are the same, who's going to have more acceleration? What do you think? He should. So that means that he should move faster and therefore a little further, right? Okay, now I want you both to pull at the same time. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, he, he made it past the midway point much quicker than he did. I'm going to make sure everything stays in metric units. Meters, seconds, newtons. Yeah, no, we're not going to get a telegram. We're not going to mix units at all. I'm going to make it as simple as I can. Yeah. Uh, the kinds of calculations I've 
expect them to have to do is things like we talked about here tonight. Maybe I will give them, you know, distance and time. Tell me what the average speed is. Or maybe I'll tell them what the average speed is and the time and how far did they go. You know, I, I may flip it around that way. I may ask, I may give them velocity at two points in time and ask them to calculate the acceleration. Okay. Other than that, yeah, we're going to use we're going to use momentum. We're going to use Newtons, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. The way, this, the way the competition is going to work, they're going to have five stages. They're going to have four minutes per stage. What they're going to do when they get to a station is they're going to, ideally, they're going to find some physical construct that illustrates one of these uh, concepts. And they're going to look at that. They might, it might be something they can actually manipulate a little bit. And, you know, I might set up a little ramp with some cars, and a light car and a heavy car, you know, that kind of thing. They're going to look at this and they say, okay, they're going to look at that. I'm going to give them a few questions about that object. And then I'm going to give them some more questions that are going to kind of expand on that basic concept. 